Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, just a quick update on the Death Star droid build. Uh, I have now one complete leg. Now it's just taped together. Half of the discs are off. It's not sanded or anything yet. But I have a thigh and a full calf, and it is wearable and it fits. Um, like I said in a previous video, I'd like to adjust the calf a little bit so it fits better. Um, the thigh feels almost exactly like the thigh from the C-3PO suit right now, which means the scale is probably pretty good. But before I print the left leg, I will be making the shorts. So these shorts here, I will be 3D printing those and um, testing them with this leg to make sure that it fits correctly into the thigh um, before I print the left leg. Because if I have to adjust it, I want to just get it right before I waste all that filament. Uh, so, you see this is the whole deal. This one leg took almost exactly one roll of filament, uh, which is 22 bucks. So, 3D printing, full leg, roughly $22. And then put that down here. See something else I printed. Oh boy, I have a chest finished now. I haven't printed the back yet, that starts tomorrow, but I have the, the torso front is basically done. I will be printing this little detail part that goes here uh, through Shapeways because they can do a much more detailed print. Um, and overall this is pretty good. There's maybe want to adjust the neck once I uh, get it completed. I may just shot this neck and tilt it forward like two degrees, really, really subtle. but. I may not. This depends on how it fits once I get the back done. I'll know that probably in a day and a half or two days I'll have that back printed and I'll be able to actually assemble this and sort of try it on for the first time. But I think it came out pretty good. And this is just tacked together with a little bit of glue just to hold everything together and a bit of tape on the back. And the shoulders are just held on with tape right now. Um, but overall I'm very happy with it. I will be starting to coat these things with the XTC 3D epoxy coat and we'll get them smoothed out and sanded and they'll start to look really nice I think. Uh, this torso alone took, uh, let's see, maybe, uh, maybe half a roll of filament for the torso. I actually had a mishap, this printed the entire piece, I don't know if I can show you this really bad print. You can see right through it. I came out in the morning and it was uh, just terrible. And what I had done is I miscalculated the height of my print bed. I thought my print bed was 10 millimeters higher than it was. And I actually went 5 millimeters less than what I thought the actual print bed was, which turned out to be 5 millimeters too much. So when I came out in the morning, this was just about finished printing. It was right at the top and my printer was at the highest level just making the most horrible sounds. <laughs> and I was like, ah, stop, did the emergency stop. And I looked and it looked like it printed the whole thing, but it turns out I'm about probably like just a few layers short of uh, one piece. And it came out bad anyway, so I basically had to redo that. So all the filament that went into this and then um, there's a couple places where I probably could have... Uh, adjusted the inside of the model a little bit and it wouldn't have needed any support material which right now it does use support material so if I do the whole torso again for any reason uh, I will try to clean those all the inner lines up so that it requires little to no support material when it's done so that's about it with the droid you've seen the arms all this other stuff I'm working on I'm getting all gathered up and I will start the epoxy coating soon I don't know how far this stuff goes every time you mix a batch I don't know if it covers a lot of space or a little space so I want to have as much ready to coat as possible in case it goes a long way I want to just be ready to put it on stuff um, and outside of that that's about that's about it for this guy right now uh, I am stripping down 3PO. This is actually a different torso and head. Let's see this other head up here. Hey guys. Um, but the red parts are all uh, across the shop right now, getting ready to be turned back to gold. All the red is going to be coming off. And yeah, that's about it. Then other updates. She's been working on a bunch of really fun stuff lately, and unfortunately, I, I can't 
tell anybody about it, at least maybe not now. There may be some things I can talk about in a few months. I hope so. I hope so because they're neat. As I, if you guys follow me on Instagram or any of those places, I haven't posted hardly anything lately because like everything I've been doing, I, I can't show anybody, which is cool and simultaneously sucks because I like to share a lot of stuff, but it's all all no good to share. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I will be printing the back parts of this torso. I'm pointing at it like you guys can see it. I'll be printing the back parts and uh, I'll have more updates on that soon. We can see how it goes together. And from there, I don't know what yet after that. Shorts maybe. Maybe I'll go over some of the, mo the modeling techniques and Max. I don't know. If you guys want to see how I 3D model any of this stuff, just a, a quick crash course to show like kind of the method. Maybe not a, a, an entire walkthrough, but just you know, some of the tools that I use in the, in the program, I can show that. Just let me know. Uh, anyway, I'll be back with the update. Maybe I'll do this stuff live, um, live broadcast if you guys want. Just let me know. Then you can ask me questions and you can watch me fumble all over myself. I'll probably get resin on my phone. It'll be great. A big party. Big party. All right, I'm going to bed. It's almost 1. I've been up since 4.30 this morning, so tired. See you guys soon.